was slightly disappointed in you experts. And none of y'all told me to do this. That is a freaking pole barn right there, suckers. Watch your head. Boomage guys, got my athletic greens. Uh, got the dogs here, look at Bandit. She a nasty, nasty. She been rolling in some stuff. Sawyer's up here on the deck. Rufio's right here. And so, I uh, almost dripped on them. We're going to uh, drink this, go feed the animals, get the day going. Guys, we have a barn to build. <laughs> got my uh, trailer loaded down. This will be the entrance coming right through here. And then the barn straight ahead. All right, boom, guys. Over here, got the uh, lumber here. Let's get started. It is a wet, rainy day, like I said. But hey, work's gotta get done. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do, take these uh, boards off the bottom and replace them with the new ones. Before I took them off, I went ahead and marked the tops of the boards so I know where to put them. All right, guys, I can't lie. I'm a little disappointed in some of y'all. I got a lot of feedback on the way I was doing things, and uh, some of it was okay, I get, you know. None of y'all that were experts told me this. Instead of trying to put the top board on there and get it level, just make spacers. If the bottom is already level, just make spacers and work your way up with the boards rather than trying to do the top. Guys, I post these videos so all you experts out there can tell me what to do and none of y'all told me to do this. I saw it on another video. I'm slightly disappointed in you experts. But before y'all get mad, uh, I do appreciate all of y'all's uh, advice. Yes, I probably should have moved the trailer closer. Yes, I could have used a tractor, uh, but Anyone out there trolling, guys, you'll never win here. Then I'll just get this board, which will be my spacer right here, so I know how far it goes out. And then just push that board over. Right there. Get your spacer again. And for everyone wondering, I'm only putting screws for right now to get it all where I want, and then I'm gonna come back with the nailer and uh, nail it all in. Nails are way stronger than screws when it comes to stuff like this. Looks pretty good, don't it? Of course, this right here will be cut out. For this next one, I'm doing 21 inches instead of 24 for my uh, door. It does make it easier, probably not safer, but I just climb these rings as I go up and it's an extra ladder. I don't think you guys could tell, but I'll show you up close. This is perfectly level on top. The gap right here is slightly off. That's okay. Um, could be the cut, could be everything slightly off, uh, but we need to fill this gap in so it'll brace this together. So we need to measure from here to there. board is braced together and it's stuck in here really tight it'll keep it nice and square
as you guys can tell just go through and cut the uh, uh, extra boards off here in the middle and then you got a doorway now I just took some of the cutoffs I made more spacers and this will be for the top And then again, we'll brace the back of that top one as well. Now it's time to do those steps again on this side. Holy cow guys, I'm tired. We got about 30 minutes of sun left, but look at that guys. 
That is a freaking pole barn right there, suckers. That looks good. I went ahead and put a bunch of concrete that I had um, in all the holes because it's going to rain the next few days, which sucks because I'm not going to be able to work on this too much. But I am uh, going to be able to let the uh, concrete set in good and all of that. But man, I am pumped with the way this is looking. Again, clearly, these 4x4 posts, it'll be cut out right there. And that'll be a doorway. And then clearly right here in the front, you have the uh, front of the barn and then the back over there. Now, just to give you guys a little perspective, um, I'm going to walk over here by the... Uh, pig pen and hopefully you guys will be able to tell what it's looking like the size where it's set up with the uh, pig pen and all of that so we got our pig pen and then we got our barn back over there you could tell the truck and the size of it next to the truck and then if you look straight down the fence line is the front of the barn but I mean, look at that, guys. That's the beginning of a pole barn. And the awesome thing is, there's a lot of people out there saying, it's just another project. I won't, I'll start and I won't finish. Haters gonna hate, but the thing is, I want to call out the haters right now. If I finish this barn, will you comment and say, good job for you, you finished it? Probably not because haters gonna hate. That's why I just do what I do out here. And uh, I'm having a blast building this. Like I, I truly, truly am. Um, building a project this size is crazy. I have never built anything this big. I've never built a pole barn before. I'm building this out of my head. Uh, I am just very, very happy with it. Very, very pleased with how it's turning out. And I'm sure the animals are gonna absolutely love it. But now, a bunch of rain. <laughs> 